In the space of one week, Burnley have gone from having nowhere near enough wingers to now almost having way too many. With the arrivals of Luca Coliosho, Nathan Redmond and now Andros Townsend settling as the trialists, Burnley have some serious depth on the flanks. However, it does seem that their transfer business isn't quite wrapped up just yet, with three potential brand new signings that all play on the wing on Burnley's radar. First of the three, you guessed it, it's Nathan Bloody Teller. It is well known how effective Teller is in the Burnley system with his 17 goals last term and all in all shining under Vincent Company. Sitting in the top 20% for touches in the opposition's penalty box and also in the top 2% for non-penalty goals, Teller could be a huge asset in the Premier League, especially with the creative likes of Zeki Amdouni now also inside. Despite no official sign or anything to suggest that the deal is close to being completed, negotiations are very much underway, with Burnley allegedly having a 9 million bid turned down. Are you serious right now, bro? Yeah, I have no clue what they were thinking with that offer either. But nevertheless, a turn down bid does mean that negotiations are well underway. It is rumoured that Southampton would likely want around 15 million for Nathan Teller, which to be honest, I do think is very reasonable for a player of his calibre and the qualities that he could definitely bring to a championship side that are definitely going to be looking for promotion, which he did last season. Moving on to a done deal in Brun Larson, who has joined the Claret on a one-year loan deal with an option to buy at the end of the season. And, um, I have no idea why. Like, at all. I really don't see the need for Brun Larson, especially considering he has been relatively mediocre for years, albeit the mediocrity is as a result of the injuries he's sustained over the past few years, and he really, really has struggled to get back to the great potential he once had when he first burst onto the scene. But nevertheless, it's still a very, very weird signing, especially considering the potential arrivals of these next two players, because Brun Larson, as much as he will add depth that I guess Burnley do need, he's not really an outstanding asset to have. But moving on now, we have another player quite close to the club in Andros Townsend. He dropped pretty much a Lionel Messi-esque performance against Benfica away on Tuesday night, and he's fighting for this contract with Vincent Company's Burnley like his life depends on it. It emerged early in the summer window that Townsend was training with Burnley, and he has now made two appearances in Burnley's last two preseason fixtures, but he's not just appeared, he has seriously impressed. Townsend has showed large capabilities on and off the ball with his phenomenal work rate, pace, and even a to beat and drive past his man on the right wing and also played a large part in the second goal against Benfica on Tuesday night. But honestly, Townsend arriving could be unreal business, especially on a free. He's super experienced, carries so much quality and also adds further depth to Burnley's very, very young squad. And on top of all that, he managed to pull this god-awful trim back to having an absolutely luscious head of majestic hair. So, um... He's used to pulling off miracles and pulling it back from being the underdog, so I'm sure he can help Burnley survive in the Premier League. Now, back to a saga that ages back to the dawn of time. It's Jack Clark and Burnley, lads. Burnley supposedly had a fourth bid for Clark turned down this week, yet Clark is said to be very open to a step up to the Premier League with the championship winners if they are to meet Sunderland's demands. There is speculation stating that it is likely that Jack Clark will soon become a Burnley player as a result of company's persistence to sign a Sunderland winger and also Clark's desire to play under Vincent Company himself. However, how reliable them speculations are is, um... I'm not too sure. But considering the fact I believe Sullivan will want around 15 million, I really think we should be focusing our efforts elsewhere. Clark is phenomenal and absolutely electric on the ball, averaging over four progressive carries per 90. He would definitely strive at Turf more when placed under company system, but 15 million is a lot of money. And when the likes of Nathan Teller, who have already performed and fit in at Burnley, who are going to be around the same price tag, with also the likes of Mike Trezor, but for just a little bit over that, I really think it would be stupid to go splash such big money on Clark when, like I said before, you've got Teller or Trezor waiting there for around the same evaluation, who, for me, are probably both better than Jack Clark and better fits to Burnley. So I do really think it would be quite daft to go and splash that big cash on Clark, but also in Vinny we trust. But if you have enjoyed today's video, then make sure you go check out this one right here, and I'll see you guys in the next one.